Hi guys, welcome to Kurosawa's Mathematics class. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. All right, today I want to talk about the implicit function. When we talk about the implicit function, it means we are differentiating two different variables. So we will differentiate with respect to x, and we also differentiate with respect to y. I we get what I'm saying? So we want to see these few examples and how it applies to implicit function. All right, so let's start. So the first one, we have three x squared plus y cubed minus six x equals to twenty four. So this is just dealing with the normal differentiation. But whenever you differentiate your y, you are going to add the y dx. I guess what I'm saying now. So that means if I differentiate this, this will give me six x now if you differentiate y cube y cube will give you what three y square but because it is y you differentiated you will add the y dx do you get that minus or differentiate this what will you get six equals differentiate this what we get zero all right so you are making the y dx with a formula now so take this one to this side so that will be three y square dy dx equals to 6 because when minus cos it become plus then my um, 6x will cross this side and become minus what 6x and then I become 3 so from here now you now make your dy dx the subject of formula so that will be dy dx equals to what 6 minus 6x over 3y squared so what's going between these two Thing is common there, so this will mean 2 minus 2x two all over what? 3 times y squared. So 3 will cancel 3. And then your dy dx, your dy dx is therefore 2 minus 2x two over y squared. So do we understand this now? So this is what you are going to have as your answer here. Do you get that? So let's see the second example all right the second example we have y cube plus x cube plus dxy equals to 7x so what you do differentiate your y cube that will be 3y square dy dx plus differentiate your x cube all you get 3x square plus now when it comes to something like this what you simply do is you first differentiate 3x alone. If you differentiate 3x alone, what will you get? 3. Your y will be a constant. Plus, now differentiate 3y. What will you get? 3 dy dx. Then your x is a constant. Equals what? Differentiate 7x. What will you get? 7. So after that, the one with dy dx, you take them together. The one without dy dx, you take them to the other side. So this one I've got 3y square dy dx plus 3x dy dx. 3 times x will give us 3x, so that's what I did. Equals to 7 minus 3x square. This 3x square, then minus 3y. So what's going between this one? dy dx so if you take the idea this one you know what 3y square plus what 3x equals what 7 minus 3x square minus 3y so the next thing you do is divide by side by what 3y square plus 3x 3y square plus 3x do we get that now so this will cancel this. Then your dy dx is equal to what? 7 minus 3x squared minus 3y all over what? 3y squared minus and plus 3x. So this will be your final answer on this equation. Do you get that now? So you can go ahead and pause the video to try the third one. Alright. So let's see the third example together let's see the third example together the third ones the third one here says if i have 
x square y plus x cube y square equals to 6x minus 7y. What will be your answer? This is very simple. So this is 2. So this is product. So differentiate this one first. 2x. Leave your y as a constant. Plus differentiate y. What will you get? dy dx. Put your x square as what? Constant. Plus differentiate x cube. What will you get? 3x square. Put this one as what? Constant. Plus differentiate y square, which is a 2y dy dx. Then put s cube as what? As constant. Alright? Equals to differentiate 6, that's what we get. 6 minus differentiate 7, what we get? 7 dy dx. Alright? So it, is become, it has become much more simpler now. So take the one with dy dx together. So that means I have s square dy dx plus 2y, this one, the, and 2y x cube. 2y times x cube will give us, will give us 2x cube y dy dx. So I must buy 2y with this s cube minus, and if minus 7 cos will be called plus what? 7 dy dx equals to what 6 so i take this 2xy to this side we call what minus 2xy and if i take this 3x square y square to this side also it will call what minus 3x square y square all right so what's going between all of them dy dx and that will be more what x square here plus what 2x cube y plus what 7 equals what 6 minus 2xy minus 3x square y square so you divide both sides with this so that means our dy dx will not be what 6 minus 2xy minus 3x square y square all over what x square plus 2x cube y plus 7 so this is how you do questions on the implicit function. So when you have two functions together, you just apply the product to differentiate one, keep the other as constant, then differentiate the others and keep the first as constant. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Thank you.